G'day, guys. Welcome back to the Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate. I'm your host, Mark, and my co-host, Britsburg Owen. Owen, we have some breaking news. What is we happening? We do, man. What oh, is going on? It's gone crazy with all these teams revealing their home openers today. It's just gone mad. So now, obviously, we know two weeks worth of Steelers fixtures already. Can't yeah. wait. So I want to I want to put out the, the the idea first, guys. We just recorded the the week two home games. You'll find out that very shortly in this video. We are we are we will give you analysis of week one and week two. So the Pittsburgh Steelers threw a spanner in the works, and as soon as we were done recording, boom, we have week one. So. In this video, you have week one and week two. Are you ready, Owen, to talk about week one? I am ready to talk about week one. But I suppose, like I said, Mark, it's always going to happen, I suppose, if we are the opponent for someone else who's revealing their first home game. It's going to happen, isn't it? We're going to be, we're going to find out our week one opponents. Well, so, that's yeah, a very I good just... point. That's a, that's a very, very good point. And that opponent is the Bungles, right? The Pittsburgh Steelers will face the Cincinnati Bengals uh, Sunday, September 11th, 1 p.m. So 1 p.m. kickoff. And you are right, because the, the reason why it threw a spread in the works, Owen, and you are a dead set right, is because that is their home game, and every team is, a, is allowed to announce their home game. Now, I didn't think of that. I had no idea. I didn't think about that, 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 that the Ravens or the Browns, or now the Bengals are versing us. So there's two, there's two games already, week one and two, and we'll talk, we'll talk about Pats at the end of this video, which is like back to the future in front of us. But we're here now to talk about the Cincinnati Bengals week one. What are your instant reactions to week one? Do you know what? It's time to get them back. We <laughs> owe them, man. We owe them big time. You know, after last year, they came into Heinz Field, beat us, and then they pretty much embarrassed us in that performance that was just absolutely appalling at whatever that stadium they play in. <clears throat> called. I can't remember now with the Escalusa thing. Um, oh, man, we owe them. We owe Joey Burrow, big time. Yeah, no, I, no, I agree with you. I, I called the Bengals last year. They were in, in for me, they were young and angry. They played with with passion and heart, and they really did. Now, Joe, Joe Burrow and, and Joey Bungle, hopefully we, we can stop him. I think he can be stopped. I think with that defense, he can be stopped. The amount of pressure that will be put on these uh, AFC North quarterbacks will be insane uh, with our defense too, with TJ. However, this is a pretty big task to go to, to to go to Cincinnati. Now we have won there a lot, right? We've won there so many times. We had a 11 or 12 win, you know, win streak against the Bengals. But mm -hmm. now it's it's the it's an, another new era with Joe Burrow versus Trubisky or Kenny Pickett. And who the one big question I find: What quarterback do you put out there to go to welcome to the jungle? What do they say? What who day welcome? What what what, oh, what player? What <laughs> what quarterback? Do you put do you put Kenny out there or do you go with Trubisky? I think in that sort of baptism of fire, you go with Trubisky because of the fact that he's <clears> used to those intense divisional rivalries. You know, when he was at the Bears, he's been to Lambeau Field. He's been to you know, he's played against those those AFC North, North rivals, he, NFC North rivals. Sorry. Um, so yeah, you put him in. I think week one because he's used to that intense rivalry. I think it would be if you put Pickett in week one, it would be an absolute baptism by fire going into. Um, what do they call it again? Who Day Nation or something stupid like yeah, that? Yeah, well, the the Bengals stole Who Day from Who Dat. And if yeah. you do if you do a bit of research and actually take about half an hour, not even take about ten minutes to find that out, the uh, the New Orleans Saints started Who Dat like back in nineteen sixty something, right? Sixty eight, and the Bengals started Who Day in like nineteen eighty something like that. So they're always yeah. behind the curve. They are zero and three in Super Bowls. I don't care if you are successful this year. You've been a dirtbag franchise for a very long time. You have done some really bad things against the Steelers. Vontez, not perfect. I can't stand him. A lot of the other players, uh, Adam Pacman Jones, Hushman Zana, wiped his terrible towel with the, you know, his feet. So many awful things this, this, this Bengals team has, has done to the Steelers. And this is a pretty big matchup. And I think, yeah. I think right now, compared to week two, which we talk about, later on in this segment is it's a 50 50 for me just because how how talented they are this team all right oh, I, yeah. I can't i can't pick a winner i really can't with this, no. with this with this week one matchup they've retained a lot of their talent um they've also strengthened their weakness as well which was their offensive line um i still feel their secondaries get is able you're able to get at get at their secondary um and with a 
quarterback with a better arm this year, um, who can throw over the middle, who can throw those longer passes. I think we can actually get at them a bit better than we did last last year. But, you know, like you said, Mark, there's so much history. I mean, there was also the incident where Ben was taken off injured on a cart and they were throwing uh, beer cans and garbage at him, which was just disgusting. Le- Le'Veon, Le'Veon Bell, Le'Veon Bell as well. They uh, tackled Le'Veon Bell and the, I think the crowd cheered. You know, I'm not calling out like I'm not calling out fans as a person, but I always try and call out the organization and I can't stand the organization. I think the they're one, one thing, of the worst. The one thing I remember is um watching a video where um I think it was after we beat them in the uh the playoffs <clears throat> and uh you've got Bill Cower and the Steelers taking the Mickey out of the whole who day thing and like them going who day and we going we day, we day <laughs> basically getting them back for that. So yeah. Look, I, I think the passion would be there, and it, it does remind me of the, you know, like that that Antonio Brown when he got injured and the, the field goal and Joe Porter was out there and flags came out. Um, they hadn't look the, the the Bengals hadn't hadn't won a playoff game in 31 years. So mm-hmm. your recent success does not trump the Pittsburgh Steelers' uh, six titles. Like I go into the Facebook land and and talk to the Bengals guys and they're like, oh, you didn't win last year. Well, yeah, but we won six, mate. We, we, we have history. The history of the Pittsburgh Steelers is, is built around success. The yeah. history around the Bengals is built around failure. They were the cellar dwellers for so long. It's only now with their, their quarterback, their, a lot of their good receivers now, and, and Joe Mixon and their defense is getting better, that they're actually becoming, well, they went pretty far. But this is a big test as well because mm. – if you're on the if you're on the Cincinnati Bengals shoes, if you lose against the Steelers, can you imagine? Could you imagine what the what the the analysts would say if the Steelers? Because we, we're going to be underdog. We will. Oh yeah. Like if, if if the Bengals lose, could you imagine the the amount of fire that will go up? Oh yeah. You know, like if if the Steelers win this game, go into Cincinnati week one, take care of business, take them out. TJ's on fire. Najee has a day. Trubisky lights it up. We have a go in this game. And we go one and oh, they will be like, oh, the Bengals are what are they? Super Bowl to flop. And I would love it. I would absolutely love it. Mark, I think we've got to remember as well, this team is is better than last season's team that went to <clears throat> um Cincinnati. And, you know, we've got a more mobile quarterback. We've got I mean, okay, there's still a question mark over the offensive line, but it is, I think, better than it than last year's with James Daniels, Mason Cole. You've got Najee with another year's experience. I think Pat Freyamuth again, George Pickens, who I absolutely love, Chase Claypool. The offense is so much better than it was last year. And the other thing is, the Bengals aren't a surprise to anyone now. Everyone knows what the Bengals are. You know, last year... No one knew what Jamar Chase was going to be like, and he was a surprise. Jamar Chase is going to find this year a whole lot tougher than he did last year because he's got that element of surprise, whereas everyone now knows what breaks he makes, what routes he runs, what's the type of player he is. They know it. They know him now inside out. So that's another thing. TJ wasn't fully fit when he played the Bengals last year. That's right. That's right. Um, Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, I just think this team is a lot better, and I just think the Bengals are not the surprise package they were. And is it Boyd, the guy who called us out, you know, after they beat us? Uh... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Tyler Boyd said words about something else. And I'm like, you've had literally, you've, you've won three games in a row. Fair enough. But we, we dead set have beaten you 12 times in a row before that. Yeah, I mean, the guy said, the guy said that they quit. I mean, you do not call into question someone else's professionalism i don't care if it's the most hated rival you're playing you just don't do it it's just it's out of order you don't you don't do it in any case you don't do it as someone who's the the garbage man or whoever no offense to garbage man right i'm doing stuff with uber you don't say he quit you never you're right you never question someone's professionalism or i guess their manhood you don't question that because that doesn't people go out there they go out there to play 11 on 11 they go out there to smash heads so Mm. i can see this game to me, it can go one or two ways where the Steelers aren't ready because it's week one and we generally always a bit like scratchy. New, new quarterback, new offense, stuff like that. Or I can see it, and in, I'll, in, I'll allude to in, a, in, a, in the next segment because I, I already know because we've talked about it, but George Pickens and those fellas can go out there and start to hammer down. Like, let's be real. Like, this, this defense can put Burrow under pressure. The offense can be more physical than the Bengals because this game comes down to physicality at 1 p.m., doesn't yeah. it? Mark, think and also, Mark, think about last year. Where did we start last year? What were we told last year? 
The whole off season, the whole off season, the Pittsburgh Steelers were told they will not win that game. Mm -hmm. they and were, who they won? Went to, they went. They're playing the Bills, who were going to be the Super Bowl champions or the AFC's representative. You know? Super Bowl, and you're not going to win. You're going to be embarrassed. You're going to be ripped to pieces by mm -hmm. Josh Allen. You haven't got a hope. Why even bother? And what happened? We went in there. We owned Josh Allen. The defense was all over him. The offense played okay. And we won that game. And we shut and, everybody up. And we got a uh, killer brew got his, uh, the, the punt block. That was my yeah. favorite. Actually, that was my the whole season. That was my favorite win. Because all off season, and I, and I guarantee it, I guarantee the, the Cincinnati uh, Bungle fans right now are saying, well, we can't wait to burst the squealers and, and, and these terrible nicknames, right? We can't yeah. wait to beat you week one. And that's going to fire up because we're going into this game as the underdog, right? And then next game we're going we're going to be versing the the Patriots. Now, what are your what are your final thoughts, Owen Man, on heading into Cincinnati? Is it is it too soon to tell who has a chance to win? And and is there is there pressure on this Cincinnati Bengal team? Because I think there is. Mark, there's massive pressure on this Cincinnati Bengal team because they are the AFC champions. They are the guys in possession. And the moment you do something like that, you have a target put on your back. And they're the ones with the targets on their back now. And they're the ones who are going to have all the AFC North opponents coming after them. The Bills, the Chiefs, the Broncos, the Chargers, whoever are going to be coming after them because they have that target on their back. And everyone, it's going to be a want to win game because whereas in the past the Bengals were seen as been a oh it's the Bengals that's a win that's an easy win forget the Bengals now it's a <laughs> game that everyone's going to raise their game for because they are the AFC champions and they're not going to find this year as easy and to be honest with you the Steelers when do they do best they do best when they are underdogs when people say we've got no chance because it goes as a chip on the shoulder you moment you put a chip on the shoulder of Mike Tomlin TJ Watt of Cam Haywood they play up and they will be in the faces of Joey Burrow and the rest of the Bengals yeah, all right, guys. So check out this next part in the in the segment, which we recorded about ten minutes earlier. But I just I just checked Facebook now, and I'm lucky there's no more games being announced. So, <laughs> <I'll>, <laughs> so we're we're in the clear. We have yep. week one. Uh, Steelers going to Cincinnati Bengals. Can't wait. And we have week two, which we'll talk about right now. Uh, Steelers at home versus Patriots. Thank you, Owen, mate. We'll we'll jump off so you guys can view it, and we'll see you guys in about an hour. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Got uh, the NFL schedule released today, and all 32 teams were allowed to release their home opener today at uh, 6 p.m. US time. So we now know the Steelers as well as everyone else's home opener. Yeah, don't give it away just yet. Just a reminder, guys, who we are, are playing in 2022 the Ravens, Bengals, Browns, Raiders, Patriots, uh, Saints, Jets, Buccaneers, and on the other side, Falcons, Bills. Panthers, Colts, Dolphins, Eagles. But the internet is the internet, and we need to do this fast. We've got to do it real fast, and let's bring it right up. Are you ready? Yeah, do it, Mark. All right. Whoa, Woo dude, What is happening? What is going on? Instant Crazy. reactions right now. What? What's? What? How? What's going on? That is a. It's a big game. Patriots Steelers is always a big game, Mark. Always a big game, man. Massive. I kind of like. I kind of want to keep that visual there for a minute so we can let it soak in because we have not seen football in so long. But to me, the Pittsburgh Steelers at home versus Patriots, no Tom Brady. We have Mac Jones coming to town. I, I don't know about you, but I, I, I instantly think defense. I think it's going to be a very hard game for the Patriots. And, and, and the Patriots have had our number mm -hmm. the last, what, forever, right? Yeah. They've had our number. And this is now, a revenge come, game, man. Coming, yeah, we, we had them versus uh, Joe Hayden versus, uh, was it Tom Brady when he picked him off at, at, uh, at home in the color rush, right? But yeah. Patriot had a number for a few times. But now we have the Patriots coming to home at 1 p.m., which is my 3 a.m. And wh what time is that for you? Uh, so it'll be 6 p.m. Uh, my time. Not too bad Mate, for me, actually. Too easy. So, yeah, you got the good you got the good nighttime games when around that yeah. time. But what's your, yeah, what do you think? Is, is, is this... Is this a perfect matchup out of the out of the home teams here? Uh, oh, yeah, out of all start. those teams, like the Pats first, right? That's not bad, is it? Or the no, first that's a good start. I'd rather start. I'd rather start out of division. I wouldn't. I'd, you know, the rumors that had been going around about the fact it was going to be the Browns. I really didn't want. I didn't. Don't want a division game first up at home. It's the two most successful 
AFC coaches as well, Tomlin v. Belichick. Um, you know, revenge for that Jesse, the Jesse James caught the ball game. Oh, it's a it's a great start. It's a really great well, start. We need Pine to remind should be rocking, man. Oh, it's I, I'm so keen for it. I, I will be waking up at 2:59 a.m. and ready to go. Now we've got to remind people this is the week two home game, right? Week two versus the Patriots. So we don't know week one yet. Stick around also uh, in the next few hours for breaking news when we go through the whole schedule. Yeah, but Owen, man, I can see some some really good success here if Trubisky starts or Kenny Pickett. I think versing versing a quality team like the Patriots, right? Yeah. A lot of fans out there saying, "Oh, you, you you know, if we were to verse, say, the Jets or Saints or something like that, oh, you beat them easy, right?" The Patriots are a quality side coming into Heinz Field. This is big. This is like this is going to be a statement game right off the go. And there's yeah. no, there's no, uh, you know, Sunday night football, Monday night. It's like, oh, you, you wake up, you have your breakfast, you go, you go to work, and it's going to be Pittsburgh Steelers versus the, the Patriots and and two new quarterbacks. Really, hey, like, oh, no, who do you, yeah. who, what do you expect from both teams in, in this matchup? It's going to be, oh, it's going to be. I think you've got two good defenses. You've got two young quarterbacks. Whoever starts, you've got two emerging offenses. Two of the best tactical coaches in the AFC, scheming against each other. Two brilliant defensive minds as well. If you think, you know, Tomlin is a, a def was a defensive coordinator before he became a head coach. Bill Belichick is a defensive genius. It's going to be, I think, it's going to be a tight game. I mean, just looking now, the Patriots lead the series 17, 16, and 0. But it's so tight between the two teams. It shows how keenly contested, you know, the, all, all these games have been between the Steelers and the uh, and the Patriots. It's going to be interesting too because whoever we do play in week one, it does look it does look likely that it's going to be an away game now because well this is our first home game, so it has to be an away game really. So if we want to dive into a little bit and we'll come back to the Pats to almost finish it up, but in the away game is about two hours away. Who do you think we're going to play away in in week one? It has to be away now. Do you know? Either I'd like someone that would get us off to a nice eat well. There's no nice, easy starts in the NFL, is there? But an easier start, like the Falcons or the Panthers. But, you know, I'd actually really like the Eagles week one. for the Pennsylvania Derby. That's a very hard game, though. But the, the probably the promising thing is if we were to play the Eagles in week one, and we have like two hours now of speculation. So we were to play the Eagles in week one. Uh, each team is zero and zero, but you know the Eagles have one of the best records against us. They have like forty-seven yeah. wins and twenty-five losses. They just seem to play us differently. They they definitely they know how to push our buttons and really take take control of the game. For yeah. me, I, I've I've actually picked on, on my channel, Steel Nation Australia. I've picked the Dolphins, and that'd be nice. I, I just thought it, it. I don't think it'll be divisional, right? Hopefully not. I, I don't think it'll be overly divisional. I thought it might be Dolphins away. But now we have the, the the real news, and let's focus on this. Let's focus on this because this is this is this is unbelievable. I know we're getting a bit gushy over the schedule, but yeah. week two, Steelers versus Patriots, one p.m. Man, what do you think? What do you think's going through the minds of the Patriots now, knowing they have to come to to Heinz Field? This is a uh, tough road game. Tough road game from the first straight up, isn't it? Face, I mean, Mac Jones is going to be having nightmares between now and September, thinking of TJ Watt, Cam Haywood, Stefan Tuitt, Alex Highsmith, Miles Jack, all coming after him, all getting in his face. He's going to have nightmares. He's going to wake up screaming in the night, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree 100%. It, it's getting to the point where I, I, like I've like i I've called it and you've backed me up. This is going to, definitely going to be like a top 10 defense if they get their, their ducks in a row. And the Steelers now at home with 67,000 people there. I've been there. I, I, I was there for Steelers versus Ravens on Christmas Day. Amazing yeah. atmosphere. We're getting out of this pandemic. We're getting out of this stuff. We're getting back to football, back to life. And what is life is our Steelers versus the Patriots. Patriots coming to town. The only thing I think would rock us if they were if they went off to a hot start and mm. they got like 17, 14, Mac Jones was on fire. We couldn't stop. We couldn't stop the passing. And obviously we didn't fix our issues from the run. But we'll find out what happens in week one if we are ready. But even yeah. so, the Steelers' defense, I think, will cause dramas for the, the Patriots. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I mean, I think the thing as well, Mark, is the fact that Mac Jones is a good system quarterback. He's not, he's no Mahomes, he's no Josh Allen. He's, 
you know, he's no Justin Herbert. He's not someone who's going to tear you to pieces the way that they can. Um, he's a system quarterback. The Patriots do rely very heavily on the run. So, providing we've got that run defense sorted, which I think it will be this year with the front three back. You know, I haven't got, I don't think, I can't see Mac Jones, you know, winning the game with his arm. That's not, that's not who Mac Jones is. He's very much, very much a short passing system quarterback who plays to a given scheme. And then the other thing as well, you've got to consider about the Patriots offense is they've lost their, um, they've lost their, their guru, them, their, their offensive maestro, Josh McDaniel, haven't they now? True. Who do you All think, right. and speaking of offense, who do you think on, on, on our side of the football on offense uh, whoever may be week one starter for quarterback, but who who on offense do you think is this a game where George Pickens just just says, "Hey, look at me." Uh, this could be a very very physical game. Both teams are very physical. I I think you know that this could be the this could be the game where Chase and George Pickens really break out because. You know, if you look at look at the Patriots, they've lost their top cornerback from last year, and J.C. Jackson, who's gone to the San Diego, uh, no San Diego, the Los Angeles Chargers. Um, they, they still should be in San Diego, but they've lost their top cornerback. I, 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 as people know out there, I love the pick of George Pickens. I think he's going to be absolutely amazing for the Steelers. I think he he's a he's a first round talent. We were so lucky to get him in the second round. I think he will rip the Patriots secondary. Got a few more questions for you before we, uh, you know, start to look into the next the next uh, schedule release coming out the full yep. release. What do you think? What What do you think the mentality would be if the Steelers lose Week One, whoever that may be? What is their mentality going to Week Two to versus Patriots if they if they start zero and one? Got to win. Must gotta win, win. game. <laughs> Just got to win, gotta man. Get, it's got to get it done. Yeah, man, I'm super excited. Let's let's end it up here because we've got some stuff to do. You guys got things to do too. What are your final thoughts on the? Uh, and we'll we'll address this in a few more hours too. But what are your final thoughts on the Patriots coming to town? The old Patriots, mate. We get to verse them again. No Tom Brady, thank goodness. But uh, it's still Bill Belichick, and it's the Patriot way. And they're, they're one of the teams that the Steel fans absolutely hate. What are your final thoughts on uh, the Patriots week one? Uh, sorry, week two uh, in Pittsburgh. Um, do you know what? I can't. I wish it. I wish it was the seventeenth of September today. I, I was buzzing, man. I can't wait to see it. It's just, it's it's probably one of the without a bit of divisional game. It's one of the best games we could start with at home. You know, the Patriots. Given that rivalry and given that hatred between the Steeler mm -hmm. fans and the Patriot fans, and the fact that you know they've done some slightly questionable things, shall we say, in the past without saying anything that's going to be libelous. And the whole Jesse James thing, there's just been so much that's gone on so between much. the Steelers and so Patriots. Much. And it's just a, it's a good opportunity now to like, I don't know, go out there and show them that we, you know, we're better than them, shove it in their faces and really, really get Hinesfield rocking and really kick the season, like kick the season into gear for the, you know, for the rest of the rest of the, whoever we play next. Well, to me, it's it's both team both teams are going into a new era, right? New era. Oh, yeah. Mac Mac Jones and whoever our quarterback's gonna be, Kenny Pickett or Mitchell Trubisky. It's a complete new era, but I'm excited to see what can happen in week two. And um who was the fella? Remind me who said this. Who was it it's a star, it's a five star matchup because we're in it. That was James Farrier, right? It was, yeah. Yeah. Now Jack now that's what I think of this matchup. I, I I'm kinda happy that they they're versing a hard team. Or a team that yeah. has their, their head on their shoulders. If we go into verse a Jets or a Saints at home, anything can happen. We if we bring in a Raiders team, anything can happen because a lot of times those lower teams we play down to or we don't play as hard to. But if it's a, if it's a hard physical team like the Patriots and a winning culture as well, two winning cultures. This mm. is two teams, the Steelers versus Patriots, both have six Super Bowls. Right? We got there first, and we'll get there to seven. All right, Owen, are you ready to end this and, and, and wait another hour or so until we get the full schedule? Yeah, Mark. See you in, a, <laughs> see you in an hour or so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for checking out uh, Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate. I'm your host, Mark, and my co-host here, Pittsburgh Owen. Mate, send us out. Send us out. I oh, can't wait for this game, mate. Cannot wait. I'm buzzing. <laughs> All right, guys. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go.